It is drip marketing time. It is Monday. Happy daylight savings time. This came out at 4 a.m. because of that now. So everything is an hour earlier. But I have heard rumors about it possibly being Navia for 3.3. So I will not be surprised if Navia is in the ship marketing. However, the four stars though, I have no idea. So I'm hoping we actually get a new four star this time because we didn't get one with Risley and Nubalat. So I'm hoping we actually get a new four star this time. As per usual, I'm super zoomed in, can't see any media, nothing. We're going in blind. Got the trailer itself. We have, ooh, this little Chevreuse. I, I was gonna be honest, I really thought, oh, wow. Oh, she has a gun too. I wonder with the eye patch, is she like for real, for real, or is she like for show? <laughs> she might be for real, for real. I know there was Emily, of course, Chevreus, and Chiori. Those were the four stars that, well, four stars, but those were the characters who were like talked about in other characters' uh, info. So I knew there was like a chance we would get one of them, just didn't know who. I love the design because it's so random. The brown, the gold, the white at the bottom on the boots, the white gloves, the purple hair and purple eyes like there's so much going on like there's good contrast with this with this design you know and like even like the white stripes in her hair and that's a big hat too <laughs> that's a very big hat but she also has a gun she has like a musket too not like a not like the little um you know i want to call it a pistol but i don't think that's actually correct the what, what charlotte has or charlotte <laughs> what um Clorent has but yeah, that looks great. Chevreuse. The hat is not similar, but it kind of reminds me of like Pom Pom from Starro. So of course we'll read through all this, but let's see if there was anyone else. And yep, of course though. It was indeed Navia. The Navia is our next five-star unit for 4.3. And yeah, it looks very happy. Like, like her design I always liked. I loved like the umbrella and you know, the very Geo-esque kind of design, but with a classy hint to it, you know? So I definitely love her design. And, okay, just making sure. I make sure we didn't get like, you know, the bomb dropped on us here. So Navia and Chevreuse. Okay, let's go through Chevreuse first. Let's look through this one. Captain Chevreuse, once again, I implore you we must tighten up the special security and surveillance patrol entry requirements. Right now, we count among our members petty crooks who have burgled all over the Court of Fontaine, street fighters whose only concern is getting rich, and even a bandit whose band of cronies almost succeeded in robbing a bank. Huh. If you hadn't personally caught them red-handed, scop er, scoping the place out under the guise of being an investor oh wow she's like smart smart they might they might very well have pulled it off for pity's sake we're supposed to be at the mason guardian inch even if just to preserve our image please consider doing something and who's saying this the ninth in the series of pleading letters sent to Severus by captain that's a new one for me captain grosschar I think that's Gross Richard or Gross Rothschild. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I have no clue. Gross Richard of the of the guards. Yeah, I have no idea on that one. Chevreuse, Executor of Justice, Special Security and Surveillance Patrol Captain, Pyro. Okay, I mean, I I you know what? Looking at her, that should have been obvious. But then again, who knows? You know, it is red behind her, so I, that probably was the obvious. But I was so, like, just shocked to see her. I didn't even think what she could have been. Pyro and ooh, Skullpetum and Sephirum. I'm butchering all these names. But, yeah, love her design. So, I have no clue. <laughs> I got nothing for Chevrolet in terms of what role she could bring. But I'm happy she's Pyro, though. I would really like if we got Pyro supports instead of Pyro DPSs, and I hope they can take advantage of that with a four star. 
because uh, you know Bennett's like our only four-star healer in the whole game who's pyro so uh, it'd be cool to have some kind of supportive character who's pyro Severus and then we have this one as well behave yourself or the patrol will get you a warning often issued to naughty Fontanian children from uh, exasperated parents of course those children are too young to understand how ridiculous such a thought is that you might be dragged off by the special security and surveillance patrol for going to bed too late, eating snacks after brushing your teeth, or getting bad grades. In reality, the only people that patrol are really after the notorious criminals. As children grow older and come to learn this, these warnings quickly lose their effect. Yeah, it's true. Some members of the special security and surveillance patrol can't help but resent this type of education when they notice children on the street quietly slipping away as they approach. As they see it, painting such a picture of the patrol couldn't be more inappropriate. If people are allowed to keep saying such things, then the patrol's infamous reputation would loom like a shadow over the children of Fontaine, and how it knows how long it will, it will stay there. What's wrong with that? The Special Security and Surveillance Patrol Captain Chevreux's response as she sat there dealing with the official documents, or, or she responded, or her response. I hope they'll always remember our in infamous reputation and understand the meaning behind it. That way, perhaps they won't need to come a day where I have to drag them away for real. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I can't wait to meet her, man. Wow. Also, I can't wait to see like this whole special security and surveillance, you know, uh, area like it's just like a building like you know where is this located like what is this place you know where is like the surveillance the security and surveillance area you know but it does not mess around it does not mess around i like the, the the talk about how the effects kind of like linger but they end up kind of not having as much meaning anymore as they grow older um and there's definitely uh yeah yeah some some criminals in Fontaine so hopefully uh we'll actually see her involved hopefully in 3.3 at some some way shape or form usually they would do that if the characters are releasing but I don't know if we'll see her in the Archon quest though I hope so but yeah that's Chevrolet's love her design for sure for sure a lot of people are calling her pom-pom with the the uh design I guess the more I look at it the more it kind of looks like that Navia when we were young, we used to play a kind of tabletop game where she would be the adventurer and I the host. Playing things by ear has always come naturally to me, but all the same, I often, I was often stumped by her decisions and the reposts she came out with. But then again, that's what made it so interesting. Clarent, oh, when we were young, we used to play games together, okay. So they were pretty close. I mean, they seemed like they were close to kind of patch things up. And um, it's just, yeah, kind of a, not to spoil anything, but yeah. Um, Navia, the helm of the Radiant Rose, leader, boss, commander in chief of the Spina de Rosa, Geo Rosa Multiflora. Huh, all right. That's kind of rare for me to actually be able to read the constellation name for sure. <laughs> Rosie Multiflora, okay. So a lot of, a lot of aliases. Helm of the Radiant Rose. So here's Navia's first post. It mentions, judging from her appearance, there's no doubt that Navia is the very picture of a Fontanian lady. She likes to accouter herself in ornate dresses and fine hats and carries with her a ribboned umbrella encrusted with jewels. Thus bedecked, she flits around the streets of the Court of Fontaine, the slopes of Mount, oh my goodness. Auto Nique? I have no idea. As well as lesser known spots along the Fleuve Sandra. She's never before been hindered by her long flowing dress, nor her deceptively heavy umbrella. How? Spry as a sparrow, she is the bearer of glad tidings from the Spina de Rosa for those in for those in need. Perhaps this is why Navia has become one of the famous reporter Charlotte's favorite subjects. At the exhibition hall of the Steambird, there even hangs a photo connected to her called the Soaring Yellow Rose. But there's no need to worry, for it goes without saying that the photo's subject not only consented to its showing, but also gave her enthusiastic support. 
I do feel like Navia wouldn't mind Charlotte's. I was gonna say antics, but <laughs> not antics. Charlotte's, uh, you know, pictures and the wanting to make stories about her and stuff like that. I feel like she wouldn't mind that, honestly. But yeah, so it has no problem with the long dress and the heavy umbrella and just you know all the fashion, all the fanciness. She's fine with it. It's a boss. Well, there you have it. There's Navia. Love her design. Very gold. Very yellow. Very premium. Very elegant. Um, I love how she has so many different titles. Yeah, definitely can't wait to see what she can do. Hopefully she can bring something new to the table for Geo. We haven't had a Geo character ever since 2.4. I think it was Yunjin. That was in 2022. So this is a pretty big moment for a Geo character. And I really hope she doesn't uh, doesn't let us down. I hope we can have a cool Geo character who's maybe not so Geo oriented. Maybe somebody who can like work with other characters much kind of like Yunjin or like and not Yunjin like supportive, but I don't know. I mean, supportive DPS, whatever it is. I hope she can be something cool, at least for Geo. So love her design, but I got to say, I think. I don't know, man, they're both they're both pretty darn cool. And I, I got to see that the 3D models as well. That's like the real thing. I mean, we've seen Navia, but have not seen Chevrolet's, but I'm very excited. Super excited for Chevrolet's. Um, my guess was going to be Chiori was going to be first, but I guess not. I also don't actually know if this is a four star or not. I'm assuming it is a four star, but I, I never know. Kind of looks like she'd be a four star, but that'll be all for me, though. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who took you by surprise? Did Chevrolet take you by surprise? Did Navi take you by surprise? What was your like go to for this here? And is anyone going to be pulling for Chevrolet or Navia? Um, I'm probably going to be going for both. It just depends on what the banner looks like. But yeah. Anywho, definitely by surprise for Chevrolet. Captain Chevrolet, sorry. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. But yeah, that'll be all for me. That's Drip Marketing for 4.3. And I will catch you guys in the next.